Hi everybody, I'm Steve Rains. I would like to help you just with creating a simple file. One of the things that we need to do is we need to be able to create an HTML page. I'm gonna show you how to do it in text edit. There are some simple problems that happens a lot to Mac users. And so I'll show you how to get rid of those and make sure that you can create a file, save it as HTML, and then we'll look at see how we'll link together several pages. That's gonna be our topics for the day, so let's get started. All right, so now I've opened up a file. I went to text edit and I clicked open up. Now I'm going to start saving the files that I need. I need to create four files. That's gonna be the plan. So the first thing I would like to do is I would like to save this location in a folder on my desktop. Now you can save it to your docs um, or my documents if you're on a PC, but I'm gonna save it to my desktop. So watch, the first thing I'm gonna do is click file and then I'm gonna click save. You might do save as with um, a PC. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna title this home.html. Before I go too far, I need to save this in on my desktop in a new folder. So I'm gonna create a new folder in my desktop. So to do that, I'm gonna click new folder down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna type um, website portfolio. Okay. Now that I have that folder created, I'm going to save this home HTML in that folder. We want to make sure that that is the location that we save all of our files to, because otherwise the links won't work. So I'm going to click save there. Now I'm going to go create another one, save. Uh, I'm sorry, file new and a new one will come up. Then I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to title this one about us. Save it in the same place, but I need to make sure it's a .html file. That's important. And then I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to go through the process of saving. Do the same thing, but this one's going to be called products.html. And then we'll just say, we'll go ahead and do one more and have it be a contact us. Okay, so I'm going to click new. I'm going to click file, save. I'm going to come in here and I want to click contact us dot HTML. Now that we've got your pages set up, we need to start writing some simple HTML code. Notice this is just... I've got some code already here on my home page. I'm going to explain what each one of these mean, and then we're going to copy and paste that on every one of our pages. So you'll need to go ahead and type this out on your screen. Um, the first one is going to just, you have to have that for every HTML file. It starts the document off correctly. Um, we have open brackets, exclamation point, doc type HTML. That tells the file that this is an HTML file, the computer that this is an HTML file. Now you look at the next one is it's HTML code. That's what code we're going to type of code we're going to use. We're going to go into the body of it. If it said header, that would be labeling the tabs on the website. When you go click on it, it would come up as a header and titles and those types of things. So we're looking at the actual body. So if you looked at body, it would actually be the web page that you see. The next thing we want to put on there is some text, and we want it to be the biggest that it possible, possibly would be. And so you see I've used H1. H1 stands for the biggest text that would pop, come up on the screen in the heading format. Now you can make it bigger if you want to, if you go and change in font, font size and style and those types of things. But if you use the headers, this is the biggest heading that you would get. And then the next one, we want some lower size text because they're going to be navigational bars and navigational little links. And we're going to talk about um, adding those in and what it looks like. But because we want it to be navigational, I used H2. We want the heading to be a little smaller. We want this text bigger than your website text at the beginning. That would just look weird. And so that's why I've used H2 there. Now you'll see the next thing here is right here that I've highlighted is this ahref. Okay, this is the way you link a file that is already in a given folder. Okay, that is that is the proper way to do it. And so notice every single one of the pages is going to have home, about us, contact us, and products, which is the titles of all those pages. Now, if you run into a problem where you go to view it in just a little bit and you can't and the links aren't working, 
you need to go back and check and verify meticulously to make sure that you didn't mess up and type a wrong letter or those types of things. That's why copy and paste is a good thing to do because it prevents you from typing in and making mistakes. Um, so that being said, I've got this all typed out. Now you notice that I want to close that text. I don't want to just leave it open. And that's why I have the backslash H2 reference. And then I want to close the body. I don't want to just leave it open. I have to close it. So I have the backslash body. And then I want to close the actual HTML code. And that's why you have the backslash HTML. Very important to have those uh, features in there. Very straightforward. I'm going to copy and paste this over into each one. And then after I save it, I'm going to tell you what it looks like. And so here's the deal. Um, I come in here and it says, welcome to my first website. That's the wrong thing to have on about us. So I'll type in about us and then I'll click save and I'll move on to contact. Notice contact already has it in there. And so I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. And then products, we're going to come in here. I need to change my first website to products. You'll need to do the same to all those and make sure you save the code. Now here comes the fun part. You get to actually see what your coding has done. If you go back to your desktop and you find the folder and you double click on one of these files, it'll automatically open up in a web browser. And then I'll show you what it looks like whenever you uh, pull that up. Now you'll see I can click on home and then it's linked down to about us. It's linked to contact us and it's linked to products. I hope that makes sense to you. I'm going to come back and show you real quick what it looks like here. I'm going to zoom in on the text so you can see that. So that's what it looks like for the products. This is what it would look like for the contact us. This is what it would look like for the about us. And this is what the home looks like. Welcome to my first website. That's the simple way to get those links all set up and running. After you do this, the next thing we'll start doing is adding text and pictures and links and all those things into your HTML code for your specific site to make it more you. And you can actually put your creative style in on this HTML code. Thank you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.